Mr. Shanoaz saw Trevor throw a brick through his lounge window. Mr. Shanoaz was treated by his doctor for a cut he received, but was later able to identify Trevor when he was apprehended and arrested by the police. Trevor was charged at Ratman Street Police Station at 9.45 p.m. When asked if he had anything to say, he made no reply. Do you have any questions on the facts, Mr. Wyman? No questions. Thank you. Were you aware that Mr. Charbonneau had to be treated for a wound you inflicted upon him? Yes. Yeah. Stand up. You do not invite leniency, do you? No. <laughs> constant truant at school, a failure it seems. You've been before the court on numerous occasions for non-attendance. You have been convicted of taking and driving away, shoplifting, violent behavior, and in spite of your undertakings to the court, you have made no attempts to secure yourself a job. And now you've been accused of stealing once again, and you've attacked a member of the immigrant community and caused damage to his property. It's a long, depressing list. Are you not ashamed of yourself? No. underway to the Upper Street Residential Assessment Centre. Residential means a place where you reside, live. You will reside, live at Upper Street for a period of six weeks, which means you'll probably end up in there for about six months, while a team of experts, psychiatrists and psychologists, team leaders, key workers, decide what they think should be done with you. That is called assessment. Then you go back in front of his nibs for nicking the cassettes from Arads. He reads the expert's reports and then sentences you to be hanged. You got that? What do I get for the cassettes? You don't listen, do you? You're all the bloody same. Today was the brick through the packy's window. They made a balls up. You've got to go back for the cassettes from Arads. That's when he'll decide what to do with you. In a bad mood, Harry. Do you think you get away with it? What? What? Nicking from Arads? Why not? Was it full of skinheads the day you went, was it? It's full of wogs. How many other skinheads did you see doing their weekly shop? It's full of wogs. Why not me? Wangers! You heard what he said. No more chances. Go back in front of him and he'll put you away. Right, looks I'll kick the door down. Not worth it, Trevor. They'll lock you up. They can't lock me up for not getting a job. Eh? Uh, try him and see. You're still going to be my social worker, Harry. Yeah, I'm afraid so. I'm off the next two weeks, so behave yourself. Off work? Work. You going on with the Harry? That's right. Where? Corfu. Where's that? Just stay straight till I get back. Put me in the filing cabinet, Harry. I can spend the next two weeks reading all the cobblers you write about me. Peter, this is Trevor. Hello, Trevor. Harry? Yes, sir. What can I do for you, Harry? Well, I brought Trevor. You mean this Trevor? Yeah, that's right, yeah, he's a uh, case note to be around later in a lorry. A slight confusion here, Harry, if you brought Trevor for admission. You've just come from the court. I know nothing about this. It's a telephone referral. When? Four, five days ago. Oh, well, yes, sir. Uh, right there. How did you know I was coming four or five days ago? I didn't. I went to court this morning. It's common procedure. Uh, come through, will you, Harry? Uh, you too, Trevor. See if we can't sort this out. Come on, ball brain. Find a place even without to pay for it. Harry, Trevor is a telephone referral, isn't he? Right. Hello, Peter Clive. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, Peter Clive. Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you're still here. No, nothing's planned. No, uh, Can you hold on to it, Terry? Very yeah, good. Harry, your message isn't recorded in the log. Terry's not expected. Trevor. Not oh, Trevor. It makes things very difficult for us to sort out. Impossible, I'd say, Peter. Yeah. Don't let it get to you, chum. Just remember that I left a care order around at the court. I can't admit him without a care order. When can I get down to Job Centre? Pardon? Where is it, anyway? Hey, just a two. Terry, can I call you back? 
Hey, what brought this no, on? No, no, it's for the way yeah, this area. I'd rather work than be here. Yeah, Look, Peter, can't we do something with Trevor? Like, send him off to get angry, and then you and me can have a sort of town. All right. I'll take you through and pass you on to someone else if you feel OK about that. We don't need me to hold around, do you? I'll get down to job centre as soon as possible, Harry. Right, Trevor, come through, will you?